Oh, hello. Who is that pretty girl? Say happy new year. Happy new year, everybody. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. This is my first video of 2023. I wanna wish you guys the most incredible, successful, and happy year. I hope that it's a really good one for all of us. I'm literally starting off the new year with a new me. I've got my finger back. If you guys have been following my last few videos, you know that I broke my um, this finger right here, my ring finger uh, in the end of October. I needed surgery to fix my finger. I had um, pins in my bone and they're now out and I'm so so excited I'm so happy that I have my hand back my mobility back I can do things again I can properly wash my hands I'm able to cook again and like wash my hair and all of those things the healing of that was pretty rough like really not easy at all and I am so so grateful that I have my finger and it's very nice now for the new year as well I feel very very grateful in terms of my mobility I am able to now close and open my fingers pretty like pretty normal still doing this kind of hurts the joint because it got very stiff from being in the cast for so long also the knuckle here is pretty swollen so I'm not actually able to wear my wedding rings they just don't go over this part so I don't know if I'm gonna have to get my rings resized or if the swelling is eventually gonna go down but I'm very very happy and very grateful and it's nice now also for the new year like getting a fresh start Hi, baby. we also went on our travels like I mentioned um, in my last video we were going to Barcelona and to Geneva for Christmas I was so excited and like so ready for that trip and we did go but our bags actually got lost like there were 16,000 bags bags lost at the airport because there was a huge snowstorm like two days before we flew and also on the day that we flew so lots of flights were canceled including ours and lots of bags were misplaced also they were really low on staff as well so lots of people's bags got lost including ours and that was crazy like first time traveling with a baby I had everything packed like all of our necessities our essential things and we didn't have any of it and we actually just got it back last night and it's been almost a month like three weeks since we went on our first trip but yeah, that was definitely crazy like I had a list made of everything that we needed um, of course all of her clothes all of her essential items including of course our essential items and all of that was literally gone for weeks <laughs> but i'm very happy today because we got it back last night and it feels really good she's got her clothes back and she's doing really good too i want to give you guys a little um, baby update later in this video because so many things have changed she is rolling she's babbling i feel like you can really start seeing her little personality come through say hi let's get some milk we can get diaper should we get some milk yeah Okay, let's do that. Okay, I wanna show you guys a few new things I got from Zara that I am so excited about and would highly, highly recommend. First are these black trousers that are so flattering and so just beautiful on the body and the quality is amazing. The fabric is really nice and feels very high quality. I love the um, little designs, like this kind of pleating here. And I'm very into trousers lately over jeans and things like that. I feel like they're still very comfortable. They kind of have that like jogger feel to them, but they are very like smart and elegant as well. And then I also found this beautiful black coat, which has a bit of an oversized feel to it. It is so, so pretty. And again, the quality 
is amazing. I'm so, so pleased with it. And I really love the large lapel, like this part that folds over. It looks very much like Max Mara. Very, very pretty, very elegant. It's a very nice, like smart and classic black coat, which actually did not have before. I have a brown coat and a beige coat, but I didn't have a black one. So I thought this was really nice and it looks very chic very elegant okay I also found these really cool leather pants from mango and they're kind of like a jogger style with the um, drawstring here and they're a little bit cropped they are super comfortable with pockets and I think these are really easy to dress both up and down so I'm wearing them with heels today but I think these could even be worn with sneakers for like a casual day look and I've paired it with this uh, new sweater also from Zara I got this at the same time as the pants it's turtleneck but the material I don't know if you guys can see on camera but it's like a ribbed fabric it's very very nice it's like fitted super comfy and just feels like nice and elevated and quite chic and elegant I don't actually have a lot of black outfits but i wanted to get some for our trips when we were away but these were all in my suitcase and i literally just got these back last night i didn't actually get to wear them when we were away but i am gonna find an occasion to wear these because i really really love um these pieces and i think it's a fun change up from the regular like mom clothes that i've been wearing Good morning guys, I am about to get my nails done. This is what they look like right now. So I definitely wanna make them shorter and I think I'm gonna go for a more neutral color. It feels so nice though that I'm actually able to do my nails now. A lot of you guys did ask on my Instagram if it hurt when they took the pins out because I don't think I mentioned that yesterday and it was something that I was very nervous about and that I had mentioned in another video and actually the first one that they took out which was this one right here this one came out pretty easily I would say they did it without any anesthesia like they just pulled this thing out of my phone which is really crazy and I of course I was not looking I had my head turned just focusing on breathing but that one came out pretty okay it was like a like just like a very strong pressure like as if somebody is like sitting on your hand kind of thing or just on this on this bone this one on the other hand was hard like they were pulling and yanking and twisting it it was not a good time but it's done and I'm so happy anyway I have to head in now to my appointment and I will show you guys the after here are my finished nails so pretty nice and neutral glossy I love them I have a few photos and some clips that I want to share with you from our first trip with Nalia. It was so fun to see her and be with her in such a different environment than being at home. I think first time parents, like the first time you travel with your baby, maybe you can relate. You feel so displaced out of your normal environment, but she did so well. She loved just looking at everything. She's such an observant baby, but I was definitely a bit nervous for the actual flight. And the first flight that we got on, I mentioned earlier that our, our flight was actually canceled. First it was delayed. So we were at the airport and then it said like we had a one to two hour delay, which was actually fine because she was napping during that time anyway. But then when we actually got on the flight, there was another delay on the flight because they had to de-ice the plane. And then they actually told us like half an hour later when we were sitting in the flight that the flight is canceled like they're not even able to take off so we literally had to get off the plane and go back into the airport and rebook our flights like it was so crazy because lots of people's flights have been canceled so it was like crazy in the airport so many people and we didn't get our bags so we were put on a flight for the next day and we made sure to feed her on the way up and on the way down sometimes she was sleeping though through the um, takeoff and landing so that was great but when she was awake we made sure to feed her so that her ears could adjust with the pressure so that she wasn't feeling a lot of pain and yeah i mean she's such a champ like that was crazy we did like four or five flights almost in a week's 
period. I think even for an adult that that's a lot and especially for a baby first time being so out of her comfort zone and all of that I think she did really really good and yeah it was such a sweet thing to experience with her and on top of that with all of our stuff being lost as well it just made it so much more difficult and stressful for Mo and I like when we got to our destination we need to get like all of her essential things like Mo had to go to baby store get like basic clothes and we needed to get food bottles and also for us as well like we didn't have our toothbrush um underwear of course regular clothes my like daily things that i take like my supplements my skincare my makeup and all of that it was actually a very interesting little experiment to go without all of those things especially my supplements so grateful to have everything back because i am so big on taking supplements on eating well nourishing my body feeling good i love taking zinc for example magnesium my probiotics and that's actually something I noticed a huge difference with when I didn't take this I actually even got sick I didn't get a full-on cold or flu but I had a cough and my throat was sore my digestion was off and I just didn't feel like myself and taking care of my body and especially my gut health it's such a big part of my wellness routine especially your gut it's such a foundation for your overall health the health of your gut doesn't just affect your digestion digestive health and your regularity and how you feel like in your stomach but it's also so important for your immune function for your skin health it's even very closely linked to your emotional health as well serotonin which is our feel good and happy chemical that is actually a byproduct of the gut bacteria that lives in your colon and one of my favorite ways to support my gut health is by taking a really high quality probiotic this is the one i've been taking for over a year now it's from seed it's their daily symbiotic and this is my favorite i love this so much it has played such an important role in my health and wellness over the last few years and i take this every single day this is the one that i have at home and then this is the one that was in my bag that was lost it's their little mini travel vial and you can put in your probiotics in here and you can take it really easily on the go and what a probiotic does is it introduces good bacteria into your gut and the more varied and the better quality of gut bacteria that you have in your colon and in your gut the better the health of your microbiome and thus the better health of your overall body and it's such an easy thing to implement into your routine i take two capsules in the morning on an empty stomach before i have any breakfast and it's such a simple thing to do it's such a great way to support your health and your overall wellness especially now for the new year as well so if you guys want to try this out you can use my code annie j15 and the link down down below in the description box and that will get you 15% off your first month's supply so all of the details will be down below in the description box okay it is time to take our Christmas tree down let's do it think of my new glasses I had to get a replacement pair because my old ones these ones right here I'll show you guys them I'm sure you've seen them in lots of my other videos I have like a thin black frame and I really really like these I've had these since around 2017 so they're pretty old they're from Chanel really really love them but again our bags were lost and I could not just wear contacts because my eyes were like burning and so red by the end of the day so I had to get a replacement pair I got these and i wish i could tell you like the brand or link them for you but they are actually from the store like they're the brand's own glasses i believe they're called feelmans like the optician that i go to and it's their brand um but i wanted to get something a little bit different from the other ones that i have 
with the black frame and these also have a blue light filter which i really like it's great for when you're on the laptop or if you're watching tv it filters the blue light especially for the evenings it can help with melatonin production and help you have a better night's sleep which I'm all about. On that note, I actually want to talk about some updates with our baby and her sleep. I feel like this is such a big topic when you have a baby. I know from my own mom friends that I have in real life and just other family members who have had babies, like the topic of sleep is huge. But it's not something that I feel like a lot of people online talk about. And especially for a new mom, I'm really surprised like that. And also like our whole feeding journey, which I want to do a whole video on in the future. Future. Okay, I think I have to change her diaper. Did you make a poops? I think you did. BRB. Okay, we've moved down to the floor. As a new mom, like that's something that really surprised me. The difficulty of sleep. She's thankfully been a really good night sleeper from the beginning. Um, she wakes up obviously when she's hungry to eat, but otherwise she's pretty good. Sometimes, um, like currently, she wakes up maybe two or three times per night, and she has a pretty solid stretch of night sleep. I would say like a 10 to 12 hour from when we put her to bed to when she gets up in the morning. So that's really good, but with those little wake ups as well. But during the daytime, that is a struggle and something that really helped us after the four month sleep regression is putting her in her own sleep space so before she was co-sleeping with us and now she's sleeping in her own crib in her own room and of course we've got a monitor and she sleeps so much better so much deeper and she has fewer wake-ups than when she was sleeping next to us when i got home as i mentioned i had that cough and every time i coughed she would wake up and we would have to resettle her to go back to sleep and at one point i was keeping my coughs in and my eyes were just tearing because I really wanted to cough but I didn't want to wake her up it was actually horrible like none of us were sleeping and so after the second night of that we put her in her room and she slept amazing obviously still a few wake-ups but nothing at all like before and now we're working on her day sleep you know daytime naps that's like when parents can catch their breath and have a little pause and do something for themselves and when the naps are difficult or very short like it makes it very challenging Challenging and you feel like you're just running non-stop something that's really helped us though is taking care of babies i got her um abcs of sleep we have not done the program yet but even just her routines and like the um, wake windows and following um, like the, her schedules, her recommended schedules, even just that has been so helpful. And we might do her actual program soon, pending on how it goes with her. I'm trying to like lay her down more and more awake each time she naps and for her bedtime um, so that she can learn to fall asleep independently because that's the whole goal. So when they wake up from their sleep cycle, that they can connect it themselves and they won't need you to resettle them. That's the whole principle. So uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on how that's going, but I wanna talk about it because as a new mom, like that's something that I just never really heard anyone really talk about like new moms online and i think it's a really important thing to learn about before you have kids so that you can be prepared especially if you're somebody who works from home or you're just somebody who likes to do a lot during the day i think it's really helpful for when it comes to like being able to organize yourself and plan for things and stuff like that yeah having a baby it's definitely learning a whole new way of life i love her so much and we have so much fun during the day especially now she's very like social and interactive and she's babbling a lot she's laughing like she has these deep belly laughs it's the sweetest thing but yeah, it's definitely a whole new way of thinking about time about your day and i know this face is also just very temporary but i think as a new mom like it's something that it, it has to like sink in you're like whoa i know i have a lot of new moms watching me as well so if you're feeling anything like me know that you're not alone i've heard from my other mom friends though that all of this does get easier and i think you just learn how to manage and of course babies start sleeping better and longer and have more consolidated sleeps the older they get and i think learning and educating myself about proper routines proper wake windows and all of that has been really helpful as well for example the taking care of 
babies. I will have her website linked down below and she has a lot of free resources on her website as well outside of the course. But I have found the course very helpful. I got it myself and it's something that I would highly recommend. Those are a few updates from our side. We also actually have our first vacation coming up very soon in the beginning of February and I've been ordering her some things, some swimsuits. We're going to be going to the Maldives. I'm so excited. It's going to be our first family vacation, her first time at the beach and hopefully our bags get there this time, right? Yeah. We need your diapers, we need your food. All right guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. I really hope that you enjoyed. Make sure to check the description box down below for links to everything that I mentioned. I hope that you're all having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.